Now people have been uh, getting packages of LSD, of high grade marijuana, of cocaine delivered to their homes. Uh, and they've been doing this by ordering them on a website. And that website is called the Silk Road. Um, it's an underground website that is only access, uh, only accessible if you download uh, Thor, which is a um, coding uh, system that uh, basically makes your IP address untraceable. So Tor. they can't. Tor. Tor, excuse me. Thor. <laughs> Cut Thor on the mind. Yeah. Um, and the currency used. Um, this is kind of the, the most fascinating thing I, I found about this article. Um, I mean, A, you, because people a, you, are buying like hardcore drugs Because, I mean, online, you, got, but, you got people shipping drugs. I don't think that that's a new thing, right? But, no, you're right. The currency is, is the most interesting. It's, it's, this currency was developed um, by a uh, Japanese developer. It was called, um, it's called Bitcoin. And what it is, you go and you buy into it, um, and it's, it's, it doesn't have a, a central... Um, agency, so no one's really controlling. Similar to like a BitTorrent right, downloading. Site. Right, right. It's it's all online. It's all run through um, the people and and the amount of of money being um, bought into the system. And so it's about every every Bitcoin is roughly eight dollars and fifty cents, but uh, that varies uh, greatly because people are buying into the system, buying out okay. of the system, and so it's all just kind of. It's like um, a fluctuating market. Yeah, it's like exactly, exactly. And so that currency um, isn't traceable. And mm -hmm. so you can use that currency to buy. Uh, to, to you can use that currency all over the. Yeah, the it's internet. not. It's not. It's just, not just for the the Silk Road website. You can use it in different places. But the Silk Road uses this so that there's no dollars being invested or yen being invested. Changing it's, hands. Right. Right. But you still have to. I mean. Well, you still have to put a certain amount of faith in the system by putting your address in, which takes balls. But if any of you have tried the Silk Road um, using this Bitcoin system, leave your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your experiences with it. We have not tried it yet. No, not tried um, it, but I've read great things in that you can really research um, the, the, the drug or the person who's selling it to you to make sure that they're not going to, um, you know... Poison you. It's like, a, or... it's like a seller on Amazon or exactly, eBay, right? Exactly, so you have exactly. rated sellers. So you're like, oh, that guy's legit. Here are his ratings. Right. You know, so that right. that's some com consumer protection mm -hmm. right there. So interesting stuff that technology's given us, um, and this is just gonna make it kind of makes this whole drug war even more of a joke when you have it's so obviously you can go around the system with mm -hmm. stuff like this.